Sandboxing and SE Linux are two key features in the Telematics Application Framework, or TelAF. Let's go through them one by one in this video. What is sandboxing? Sandboxes are used to provide a security layer among applications running in the same system. Sandboxes isolate applications from the rest of the system. They allow both OEM and independent software vendor applications to coexist safely on the same device without fear of interfering with each other or breaking the rest of the software stack. Sandboxes get created or destroyed as applications are started or stopped. The process is managed by the supervisor. Every application has its own namespace and root file system, and every application also needs resource limitations. Without resource limits, an isolated application can cause damage by consuming all available resources. The resources required for the sandbox are configurable, including number of threads, CPU, and RAM usage. SE Linux in TelAF is used to manage the access control from different levels. We manage the resource access on two levels. The first is the framework level, where TelAF domain access control is managed by the system SE Linux. It includes identifying the necessary system resources for TelAF and establishing the correct domain and rules for the framework. The second level is the application level, Every application inside the domain of TelAF can access only the resources inside this domain. In other words, the resources outside of the TelAF scope won't be visible or accessible to services or applications running inside TelAF. Also, the framework identifies the default resources for the applications within the TelAF domain. If additional resources are needed, they need to be defined in an ADEF or CDEF file. From the perspective of usage, the basic framework policy is located in POKI Meta QTI TelAF Recipes Security. The SE policy files for TelAF services and applications are located in the TelAF open source project TelAF Security SE Linux SE Policy. All of them are built as SE Linux modules and can be checked with the SE module command. Let's look at how to create a policy for an application. From the development perspective, a set of templates is supplied to easily define application level SE Linux policy. When you create a new TelAF application or service, you copy the template to the newly created folder in the TelAF project. The templates are located in TelAF Security SE Linux SE Policy template. For a service, copy the template to TelAF Security SE Linux Service. For a test application, copy the template to TelAF Security SE Linux Test. After you've copied the new template to the path, modify the TE file as follows. Define the context of the executable. Define the domain of the application. Call the init underscore telef underscore application underscore domain interface, which is used to bring up the SE Linux context when supervisor starts the new application. In the FC file, modify and define the SE Linux context for all the file bundles associated with the new application. The context of libraries should reflect the type, which is defined in the TE file. The IF file is used to define the interface of the other module. You may leave it blank if no interface is exported. There are two ways of building TelAF SE Linux modules. You can choose it based on the need of the scenario of either production phase or development phase. If the application is built into the TelAF image, you can include the SE Linux module and build it into a root file system image while building Yocto. If the application is not built into the TelAF image, in other words, built as a standalone, then add the SE Linux module into the update package by specifying it in the ADEF file, as shown here. Let's see how the features work in the target. Here is a demo for SE Linux in TelAF. This is a development workspace with policy files that have been modified in a TelAF open source project. It is an example of using the Tafcan service. Inside TelAF, we go to Security, SE Linux, SE Policy, Services, Tafcan Service, Component. It contains the policy files. 
open tafcanservice.te. The context for the Tafcan service underscore exec type for the executable is modified and defined. The default domain type is tafcanservice underscore t. The init underscore telef underscore application underscore domain interface will bring up the SC Linux context when supervisor starts the service. This interface manages file permissions for the newly added type contexts. In the FC file, the SE Linux context is defined for all the file bundles and libraries associated with Tafcan service. The IF file is blank because no interface needs to be exported. To help you easily define your own SE Linux policy for the application, a set of template SE Linux policy files is provided under Security, SE Linux, SE Policy, Template, TAF Application Template, Component. Here, the template folder contains sample SE policies, a component definition file, or CDEF, and a make file designed to support a standalone TeleF build. Let's go through those files. Makefile is usually responsible for compiling the SE Linux components and integrating them into the SE Linux kernel. It includes rules and instructions specific to compiling SE Linux policy files, building SE Linux specific modules, and configuring SE Linux options. SE policy templates can be modified for the new TeleF application. For example, you can modify this template to e-file for new TeleF application types and domains. In the CDEF component definition file, you define the package policy file name that is generated when the SE policy is compiled into the binary format that can be loaded by the kernel. Let's look at a target device running TeleF with SE Linux features. On the workstation, go to ADB Shell, then run Application Status to check which applications and services are running. Application status shows that all TeleF services on the target are running successfully. Next, check the context and domain for each of the TeleF services. This shows that all the TeleF services are running in their own SE Linux domains. Specifically, it shows that Tafcan service is transitioned to its own domain. It is running in the context as TeleF underscore Tafcan service underscore T. Next, Use the update command to install the Tafcan unit test update package. The update takes place successfully. Run application status to check whether the package has been installed successfully or not. Application status shows that the Tafcan unit test has been installed but is not yet running. Before running this application, enable logging in the background. Then start the Tafcan unit test application. The log shows that the test was completed successfully. Use the SE module command to see which TeleF SE modules are installed. The command lists all installed modules. Now use the SE module command to disable the Tafcan service SE module and then try to rerun the unit test application. It takes a few seconds for SE module to disable the module. Next, rerun the unit test application, Tafcan unit test. The logs show that permission is denied. With SE Linux disabled, the unit test does not function properly. The SE module command shows that the Tafcan service of the SE module is disabled. Enable Tafcan service again. It will take a few seconds. The SE module command shows that the Tafcan service is enabled now. Rerun Tafcan unit test, the test application. The log shows that it is now running successfully. Thanks for watching. For more Snapdragon Teleapp tutorial videos, go to developer.qualcom.com and search Teleapp tutorial.